between the visiting Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres from Petco Park. One, one, that's wrapped into the gap in left center field. Snell's first time in set position is all we're looking at. First inning, stretch to set. We're just looking at how he goes from stretch to set. That's it because now we go to the fourth. Oh, they off pitch. And I think he went. Yeah, he did. I love this angle right here. Oh, yeah. No question with Snell. Pitcher Snell gets frustrated because he can't throw strikes and initiates a mound visit to tell the umpire it's all his fault. It's for ball three. After recalibrating the strike zone, Snell has another runner on base. And remember what we did in the first inning. Uh, block? Block. It's a block on Snell. And that moves Outman into scoring position. Is he going to his pitch com? Snell says, what do you want me to do when he's going to his pitch com? Umpire, of course, says, you were in stretch. You can't go towards set and then go back to stretch. The sequence of stretch to set to delivery or disengagement is linear. You're not allowed to go backwards. This isn't exactly a double set Bach. Look closely, his hand is outside the glove, which Snell will say, I'm still in stretch. The umpires will say, you can't have two stretch positions, one in front of your body, one behind it. Especially when you then try to return to behind the back, that's a Bach. Furthermore, you cannot simulate coming set, i.e. hand and glove together, only to then drop back down to a set behind your back. That is a Bach. Of course, this isn't the first time Pitchcom has caused a balk. The umpires are going to have a chat about this. And they're going to oh, call a balk. Yes! Game over. They just called a balk. It's a Pitchcom. It's too much of this happens. And a balk. Yeah. You know what? It, it appeared that he was trying to give the sign, and he pulled his hand out. Pitcher and umpire talk. That's... Fine ish. Can't argue a balk. You can get kicked out for that. And he's given the umpire a business. Dave Morales being very patient. Very patient. Now the pitching coach, Ruben Nieba, comes and joins the conversation. My question is why isn't the manager out there? This is not the assistant coach's job. This is the manager's job. And I think this is part of why the ejection happens. When he went to pitch go. And oh, he's been tossed. Snell's been tossed. Now, I'm not going to say that Niebla told Morales something insulting, but I've heard, there's the manager. Somebody definitely got thrown out. No, it's Niebla because he's going over to fight now. It's a fine line right there. Yeah, Ruben's getting hot. Because it's a two-on-one, Isonia comes over, gives Melvin the patent to Dan Isonia eyes, and then walks Niebla away. Thrown out. As Niebla has been ejected from this game. And then Melvin asks to speak to the manager of umpires, and that's it. He's looking. He puts the glove in. Oh, that's a balk. Yeah, you have that's to step balk. off that's if you're going to separate. Yeah. 